How's it going everyone? Matt Roberts from Salt Lake City Bookkeeping. Today I'm going to be doing a QuickBooks video demonstration on how to merge QuickBooks accounts. Um, quite often I think that many people overcomplicate the chart of accounts and find themselves with too much information that it becomes meaningless. You'll often find yourself with accounts that are similar or maybe even kind of duplicated, though spelled differently. So you want to merge those and there's a real quick easy way to do that in QuickBooks and I will show you how to do that. What you do is go into your chart of accounts here and I'm going to take the classic example I see a lot and this could be because of multiple people handling the books or various different bookkeepers but quite often I see building repairs set up as an expense account and then repairs and maintenance and to me it's kind of a duplicate account at the very least you should make building a sub account or repairs and maintenance let's say you didn't even need that much um, information you just want it all into repairs what you need to do to merge these is edit the account that you want to keep in this case I'm going to keep the repairs and maintenance account so you edit it and you copy the name of the account and what you do is go to the account that you don't want that you want to combine with the other one and you edit that account and then you paste the name of the account in there that you want to keep and you hit save and close. QuickBooks then brings up a message merge. This name is already being used. Would you like to merge them? You hit yes and it's done. You can see that the building repairs account is gone. It's been combined into here and all that historical data is here. It's a real quick, easy way to merge your accounts and kind of simplify and clean up your chart of accounts. Uh, if you have any questions on that or anything else QuickBooks or bookkeeping related, feel free to reach out. You guys have a good one.